Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. So today I want to show you what it looks like when you're looking through the lenses of a pair of binoculars that has eight times magnification and a 42 millimeter objective lens. Just in case you're trying to decide between, I don't know, let's say buying a 10 by 42 or a 10 by 50 or even a 12 by 50. Let's have a closer look. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase a Vortex Crossfire pair of binoculars, make sure you check out the link in the description below. For this demo, we are using the Vortex Crossfire binoculars. This is an excellent entry level pair of binoculars. Even at this range, you're still going to pick a Vortex's unlimited lifetime warranty, fully transferable, no proof of purchase necessary. If you sell it, the other person will be covered as well. If you damage it, they're going to try to repair it or replace it. You also pick up fully multi-coated lenses, which is going to cut down on glare and really give you the highest contrast image as possible, as well as HD glass. And if you haven't heard of Vortex, these are the guys that are now making the scopes for the U.S. Army's new firearms system so this is a great place to start all right we're going to be using a baseball field for this field test so everybody gets a better general feel for distance and what we're going to be looking at through the binoculars the camera set here on home base first target set on the pitcher's mound is about 50 feet away then at second base at about 100 feet away then way back in center field warning track about 300 feet away remember the pair of binoculars we're using has an eight times magnification and a 42 millimeter objective lens and the angular field of view what we're going to be looking at is about seven and a half degrees now keep this in mind remember we got eight times magnification the crossfire comes in not only that but as well as a 10 magnification 10 and a 12 with 50 millimeter lenses and i'm bringing that up because a two times magnification doesn't seem that different but it really does change your field of vision and you might not like that especially if you get up to this 12 you got to remember as you're increasing magnification if you got a little bit of handshake it really makes the image really wobble around so if you're going to get up this high i would say even maybe that high you might want to get a tripod to make things a little bit more visible, I use this target. And if you're wondering what the diameter of these rings are, this gray track right here is about 12 inches in diameter. Let's have a look. All right, here we go. First shot, pitcher's mound, 50 feet away. Keeping in mind that when we're looking through the binoculars, it's my camera looking through the lenses of the binoculars. It's not a really good representation of the clarity of the lens. That's something you're just gonna have to experience yourself. It is a ridiculously clear lens. I mean, those HD lenses are awesome. So there it is at 8X on the pitcher's mom. Next up, we got 100 feet away, second base. You just see people walking around in the background there. All right. You can see here very little handshake at 8x and here is the 300 feet away you can't even really see the target back there just see people walking around back there and there it is at 300 feet away so if you need more magnification maybe 10x would be better for you but remember you got to deal with that hand wobble well all right guys i hope that helps you decide what magnification you need if the aid is big enough or if you need to come up higher remember the higher the magnification the more hand wobble you get and also the larger the objective lens gets yes you get more light transmission but the binoculars get a lot heavier well all right guys that's the ending of the video remember if you want to purchase your own set of vortex crossfire hd binoculars make sure you check out the link in the description below thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video Thank you.